to Toyota Time with Timmy the Toolman and Sean. Today we got a special guest, Nico. He hails from the Bay Area. What's up? And he brought his 2002 Toyota 4Runner. What we're going to do today is install a track off switch so we can disable the traction control and the VSC on this particular vehicle. The 2001 and the 2002 Toyota 4Runners have a little bit different system than the earlier models, 96 to 2000. And the traction control system can sometimes get in the way. It can be overactive or it can kick on when you don't want it. And there is a way to recalibrate it, but what we're going to do in this video is we're going to install a track off switch to completely disable it. This mod is called the Andy mod, originally created by Andreas. He's over on Yoda Tech, and there's a good write up there. But what we're doing today is the Andy mod 2.0 which essentially helps you retain your ABS. With that said, we want to give credit where credit is due. And so Andy, the creator of Andy Mod over on Yoda Tech, has a good write-up. But where we got our write-up from is from toyota4owner.org. And a guy that goes by M Stud, he makes some cool custom end links. He also makes some CB antenna mounts for the 4Runner as well. Now what you'll need is a track off switch and a relay and some other miscellaneous things for the wiring and for an add a fuse and things like that. So we're going to link everything in the description below. So take a look down there. We have some links. We're going to have the diagram for the plug that you're going to tap into and splice and everything that you're going to need to know to actually do this mod. So without further ado, let's jump in the rig. Let's start tearing some things apart and we'll show you what's needed to hook up all the wires to the switch and to the relay and then of course to the vehicle, the ground, and an attifuse. So we're gonna remove the four bolts that hold on this kick panel. And once we get this out of the way, we'll expose the connections that we need to tap into. Jumping in from the driver's side door, if we take a look on the right side of the fuse box, we're gonna see the plugs and we want to jump after the third one up. Now that we've located the electrical connections that we need to deal with, we're going to start assembling our relay with the spade connectors to the relay and extend the wires about 12 inches long. Here's some of the items you're going to need for this job. You're going to need a track off switch, an add a fuse, and a relay. You're going to need some wiring, and depending on your preference, you can use a butt connector, you could use some spade connectors, or you could solder and use some heat shrink. We have some tools over here on the left, one to strip the sheathing away from the wire, and if you're choosing to use butt connectors, you can get a crimping style crimper like this, or you can solder. This is a good tool to crimp the butt connectors. After the filming of this video, I found this relay and a harness that comes with wiring that makes this job easy for you. Everything will be listed in the video description. So let's get to work and start connecting the wires we need to to the pigtail on the track off switch, the attifuse, and the relay. Got our track off switch and there's two wires coming from it. One of the wires goes to this attifuse. The other wire from the track off switch goes to the 85 pin on the relay. 86 with the other blue sleeve is gonna get grounded and so we just grounded it right to this bolt here. Next we have on the relay 87A and 30 and it doesn't matter the order of these, but these are going to continue on to the wire we cut from the wiring harness. So you can see that red wire with the black trace. It's mainly red with a little bit of black, the black line on it. And if you take a look on this plug, there's green, an open slot, and then the red wire. That's the one you're after. Taking a look at this side of the connector, starting at the top left, it's the third one in. This connector is the third connector in a series of four. The first connector is this big, long white one. Then it's a black one. Then this third one is the white one that we're going to actually tap into. And the last one's a black one again, but we didn't unplug it because we didn't need to. 
We're going to connect those connectors back up. We got everything plugged back in and we're gonna see if this works. So those lights that you saw on just a moment ago, those are the lights that we wanna have turn on when we're pressing the track off switch button. And no other lights are on on the dash right now. Everything's happy. So now what we'll do is we'll pay close attention to this portion on the dash and we'll hold the button for about two seconds. It's more about three seconds, but now you can see that the VSC is off and the VSC traction control is also off, or in this case, the lights are enabled. So this switch in combination with the relay has now triggered the system to disable itself. If I press this again, it's not triggering these lights again or enabling the system once again. And that's because this is a momentary switch and it's actually kind of cut the connection, so to speak. And what we need to do is actually turn the car off entirely to get our traction control enabled again on the rig. So we have the car turned off. This will reset the system as long as we don't press the button. I'll turn it back on again. You see them momentarily and they just turned off. So now we got no more lights on the dash. Everything's back to normal. Got some nice mileage there. And then when we wanna disable the traction control and the VSC again, we'll just hold this button for approximately two to three seconds and it will come back on again. So let's demonstrate one more time. And there they are again. So in order to get your system back in line, you'll just need to turn the car off. Just wanna notate that, make sure that you don't think anything's wrong. All right, so we're all done installing the track off switch, the Andy Mod 2.0 into this 2002 Toyota 4Runner for Nico. What we learned with this mod is that you gotta give yourself some slack with the wiring. We actually cut the wiring a little bit too short at about eight to 10 inches. And you really wanna give yourself about 12 to 14 inches. The other thing that we learned is that you wanna make sure you're actually picking the right plug from the ECU. So we show you that there's two white connectors and two black connectors, and you wanna jump up to that third one also, it's super important that you're splicing the right wire because if you splice the wrong wire, well, there's no really going back. And there's a couple different add fuses out there, so make sure you get the right one. If you follow the link in the description below, you'll have no problem getting the right stuff for this job. So make sure to jump down there and check it out. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You may want to find a place to actually mount the relay. That screw that we show you where you can unscrew it and tap into there is probably a good place if any. You can follow our lead or you can zip tie it somewhere. This mod's pretty straightforward. Just follow the lead of those who came before us with the write-up. Check out the wiring diagram in the video description and just make sure you're taking your time. You can choose to solder, you can choose to butt connect like we did. You can make it nice and pretty or you can do bare bones. It really doesn't matter as long as you have some nice solid connections. If any of you are looking for a track off switch, we got plenty here so just email us or hit us up on Instagram and we can send you some out. They're $20 shipped and we'll send them anywhere in the United States for that price. With all that said, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, do that below and keep on modding people. We'll see you next time.